Morning. Morning, Rose. All of you know that I want to make Daddy's life easier, but I'll never take anyone's place if I'm not wanted. We never thought Daddy would marry again. We were used to things the way they were. It can't be easy having some stranger come in and turn everything upside down. No, it's fine. You've had too much responsibility in your life, Maggie. You should think about what you want for yourself now. I'm fine. I don't want anything. Why was it that Maggie didn't go for the nursing? She wasn't in favour, that's all. Why not? A girl couldn't have a better career. I wish I'd done it myself. Daddy didn't like it because it came from luck. <laughs> what does it matter who it came from if it's a good idea? Daddy and luck were always fighting. <clears throat> Daddy said that luck was only doing it to get back at him. If Daddy didn't object, do you think Maggie would still like the idea? I think so. All a lot of unnecessary disturbance. We do one room at a time, you'll hardly know what's happening. Done well enough up to now. Michael, look at the walls. They need painting. Well, it'll all come to money. I can help with the expense. That'll come to something when I can't afford to paint my own house. Do what you want. I'm on my way out to the fields. You won't recognise the place. This was I'm afraid of. <laughs> Michael! Michael, I think we have to do something for Maggie. Why, what's the matter with her? Oh, she's a grown woman now. She needs something to do. The day is gone when a girl waits around the house till some man needs a wife. She'll have a roof over her head in this house as long as I live, husband or not. She'll have that as long as I'm here too, but she should have more. She should have the protection of some work. What job of any good would she get around here? She was no genius at school. There's a shortage of nurses in England. I suppose she told you that brother of hers put her up to that once before. Well, of course, he wasn't thinking of her. He was doing it against me. I'm far from against you, Michael. A profession would be something for her to fall back on. You never know what's going to happen in life. Do you think they'd take her? We can only find out. I could write off with the details. I suppose there's no harm in looking into it. If you think it'd be the best thing for her. I do.
It seems they're accepting you for training at the London Hospital. What? Rose, did you do this? Did you know? You could write to Luke and ask him to meet Maggie off the train. It says here the hospital will have her met. He's her brother. It should be natural for him to meet Maggie. There's not a natural bone in that gentleman's body. Michael, maybe this is the time to bury the hatchet with Luke. After all, these things happen in families. They happen and then they pass. I wrote to him before. Never even got an answer. I know, but he's had time to think things over now. And if you do the generous thing, then you can't be blamed. Oh, yes, I can be blamed. Make no mistake about that. In this case, I can always be blamed. What do you want me to do? I think you should write to Luke. It'll probably just earn me another kick in the teeth. But I'll do it. Delighted to meet Maggie. Stop. Love. Stop. Luke. A bloody telegram. Maybe a letter is on its way. There'll be no letter. He left me like a right fool out in the bloody open. Well, at least he'll be there to meet Maggie at Euston Station. Yes, of course he'll meet her. He'll meet her to try and turn her against me. Michael, there was nothing defiant about the telegram. It was polite enough. What do you know about it? Why did I listen to your bloody stupidity in the first place? What the hell do you know about anything? I can't think what took hold of Daddy going off like that. Sometimes he gets that way. I've never seen him so upset. He hasn't been like that for a long time now. Rose! Is it all right for me to go, do you think? Don't worry, Maggie. It'll be fine. Sorry. What you said was very hard. I was upset. Over that bloody telegram my beloved son sent me. He treated me as though I was nothing. As though I didn't exist. Not a word for his own father after so long. I know that. But what you said was still hard. I'm sorry. It's all right, Michael. I know it's not easy.
peculiar venture. You never know how high or low you'll go. No matter how high you rise in the world, never look down on another. That's where you can never go far wrong. The house you left will always be your house. While Rose and I are here, you have one home you can always come back to. Still, I've written to the hospital to meet her as well, just in case. 